Hello, Flockers. How's everybody doing? Today is Tuesday, September 17th, and it is just coming up on 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. I hope you all are well. I want to thank you for letting me take the week off last week. We had revival over at our church over in Chilhowie, and uh, it was a, a fantastic, fantastic um week and uh, learned a lot and um, so I appreciate taking the time off so thank you very very much so uh, over the um, over the weekend uh, Sanjay and I got together on Facebook um, on Facebook Messenger uh, video chat and we came up with a pattern for a plaid um, and I learned a lot about plaids uh, and tartans and uh, I, don't, I don't see anybody here yet, so I'll wait until I see some folks come on into the show before I, uh, before I go ahead and um, tell you a little bit or what I learned about plaids and tartans. And um, we're going to be working on, uh, we finished our design and we got it all set up. And on Sunday, I warped the loom. And it went very successful. You've seen, I posted a whole bunch of photos on Facebook uh, showing, you know, stage photos of, uh, you know, the warping process, the warping board, chaining the warp, bringing it over to the, to the loom, putting it in the rattles, and then threading the, um, the reeds, uh, not the reeds, th threading the heddles, and, uh, and then um, slaying the reed, and starting to weave and I've done two of them uh, so far and they work up relatively quickly and I'm having a lot of fun with them. Uh, it is in, uh, doing a plaid using color to design the plaid and I am using uh, tutu twill uh, t for the patterning and I'm really having a lot of fun with it. So uh, I'll switch to the overhead and we can get started. Okay, so here we are at the loom. And I'm hoping that this is not going to be too much in the way for you and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. And I've tried to correct the color as best as I can. Uh, these are extremely bright neon pink. This is a dark cherry red, this is purple, this is blue, and then I have yellow, orange, yellow, and then green. So that's what we are doing. And uh, I think I've picked my next quill pattern. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, release the tension here for a moment, and I'm going to show you I'm going to show you uh, let's see, come on. Here's the first one that I did. And that was just a standard uh, straight run 2212 where I was treadling 4321 over and over and over again. And then this is another uh, tutu quill. It's a zigzag. And I did that for the whole piece. This one turned out a little bit longer, uh, but that's fine. I don't mind that at all. So uh, I think I've pretty much figured out the pattern I want for the next one. So we'll wind this back on and get the tension right back up. Okay. Hello there, Sandra. How are you, my love? Let's see. This will be one more. Okay. And I've discovered a new lady. Um, she's not new. She's been doing this for 40 years, but she's new to me. And her name is Jane Stafford. And uh, you can find her at janestafford.textiles.com. And she is in BC, Canada, and she does an online weaving guild with uh, lots and lots and lots of instruction and I've joined her guild 
And oh my God, I've learned more from that woman in like two or three days than I have the entire time I've been interested in leaving. So she's an amazing, amazing, amazing teacher. And if you want to talk about or if you're interested in weaving, go check her out. Um, if Sanjay is in the chat room, hello Kathleen, how are you, love? Uh, if Sanjay is if Sanjay is watching, um, then I'm hoping that he can um, go find JaneStaffordTextiles.com and post the link in the chat room for her. Uh, she's just simply amazing. Uh, and uh, so our, she's taught me a lot. So I'm, I'm doing things slightly different. And uh, <clears throat> this is a fantastic, uh, a fantastic book. It's called The Hand Weavers Pattern Directory. And it has over 600 patterns for four shaft looms. And the author is Ann Dixon. And it is a phenomenal book. And basically, what's so great about twills is they're kind of interchangeable. And any pattern, hello Kristen, how are you? Any pattern that shares the same tie-up, and this is, this is a tie-up here. Where is it? There it is. So a weaving draft has the following sections. This is your threading section. So this tells you one, two, three, four, that I have four shafts needed for this pattern, and that the first thread uh, uh, is going to go on shaft number four, the second thread is going to go on shaft number three, then number two, then number one. And over here we have the treadling sequence. So this is telling you that I'm going to hit treadle one, then two, then three, then four. And where the two meet is called a tie-up. So this is, this is telling you that I have to tie shafts one and two to treadle one. And then I have to tie shafts two and three to treadle two. And it goes on. There's three and four, and then it's on the third treadle. And then four and one gets on the fourth treadle. And so long as you keep um, so long as you keep treadling in this order, you'll get this pattern. But any pattern that shares the same tie-up can be used. So you can change midstream if you want. So the first one I did this standard twill pattern. It's kind of difficult to see. The colors are kind of hard to look at. Uh, and then I did this second one here, which whoops. There we go, which is the zigzag. So I thought I would just continue on with this book exploring different treadling patterns. And I kind of like I kind of like this one next, so I'm going to go with that. And that is treadling 3421. So we'll see how that goes. I am using 52 pearl cotton. It's really nice. It has a nice sheen on it. Uh, let's see. Come on. Nope, going the wrong way. Sorry. There you go. And this camera doesn't focus very well. So, there we go. So, um, Sanjay and I, I wanted to do, I knew that with a twill pattern, you don't always catch the edge thread. And if you don't care catch the edge thread, you can have problems. Um, you'll have loops on the edge. On the edge. I don't know. I can't, I can't use my words today. Um, but anyway, so um, I didn't run a salvage with this. But we came up with the fact that if we, um, if we do a basket weave pattern on the first four threads, that will secure everything. So that's what we're working on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do two picks, which is one, two, and then I'm going to be doing that in the treadling sequence for my basket weave. And then I'm going to be doing hem stitching, which is basically what you see here. And uh, I'm going to start four inches up, so that then I'll have two inch fringe on each end. 
and uh, and then we can start with the next uh, the next pot holder. So I have to mark my four inches. And that's not going to give me a lot of room. Okay. So my basket weave pattern is one and three, one and three. And I'm going to lock that down. And I'm going to lock this down also. Come on. Oopsie. I moved. Okay. Let's undo it. That happened to me the last time too. That's perfectly okay. Only takes a second to fix it. Trying it again. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this up there and tuck it. Drop that to the four inch mark, which is there's the four inch mark. Okay. All right, there. Okay. Now we're going to do our hem stitch. Let me grab the pink thread. Here it is. And they say as a general rule that you need four times the width of your project for your hem stitch and I find that that is a bit wasteful so I do three and I should have actually left the tail and done it with the tail but that's okay Try zooming in if you'd like. Stand up and see if we can zoom in for you. Okay. So again, this is a hem stitch and I'm going to start here and just come on, leave a bit of a tail here. Now I will tuck the tail. I have tucked the tail. 
Alrighty. So I'm going down four stitches or four work threads and I'm going up two. And conveniently that's all the all the uh, rows I've got in there right now. And then I go across. I'm really hoping you can see this. And then I tuck my needle through there, just get a little like blanket stitch. And then I proceed. So I'm going under four threads and up, or I'm going under four treadle, or uh, sorry, warps, and up two lifts. And then I'm just giving it a nice little snug tug there. So I have some excitement today. I'm sitting here minding my own business, and it sounds like I'm being descended on, de des descended upon by aliens or something. And there's a helicopter, you know, hovering close to houses and whatnot, and I'm wondering what's going on. And then I then. Um, so I posted in the local, one of the local Facebook groups, and I was told that it is a tree trimming company, uh, and they are trimming trees around power lines. So yes, they're using a helicopter with uh, a dangling bar of about 12 razor sharp whipping uh, saw blades just hanging on a pole and yeah they're cutting trees I can see that going so wrong so quickly one little tiny breeze going the wrong way boy and they're going right into the power power lines no thank you So these are not as thick as I had hoped uh, they were going to be. Um, they are pretty dense because of the twill pattern, but I'm not sure if they would be if they would be safe to take a hot pan out of the oven with. So I have some um, insulated um, it's a quilted insulated fabric that I'm going to back these with. It's silver on one side, it's got some batting in it, and then a plain cloth on the other side. So I will I will back these with that. So it was a good, good week last last week. Went to church every night. So um, I want I had asked earlier if anybody knows the difference between a plaid and a tartan. A tartan is a registered plaid design that is used to represent a 
family, a family name. So while I did not register this this flag pattern, I am, I guess, illegally calling it uh, tartan navy. So there you have it. I've named my tartan after my cat. I'm waiting, very impatiently waiting for fall to show up. And it still has not shown up. It is horribly hot here. And we have not had any rain in weeks. We are sliding rapidly into a drought here, which is not good. Because come fall time, we have drunk hunters on the mountains and they start fires and the wildfires that we had here a couple of years ago were pretty scary. Almost done. Hopefully I did cut enough to end. Hopefully because, you know, that would be embarrassing. So I guess Sanjay isn't watching. I had asked him to post a link. To Jane Stafford's website. And I like to give it a nice little tug. It kind of ties off the, the fringe nicely. I hope you all had a good week, a good weekend, and got lots of crafting stuff done. Is anybody crafting along with me tonight? If you are, feel free to post photos in the flock on Facebook. And let me know. We can all pop over there and take a look at your latest creations. Tighten up this wet line here a little bit. There we go.
You're not crafting, Kristen? I'm sorry to hear that. You're allowed some downtime, I suppose. Sandra's usually crafting along. I think I'm going to run out of thread here. Let's see if I can go faster so I can get it done before I run out. How many other people do that? You start knitting or crocheting faster because you're going to run out of thread. And hoping to get the pattern done before you run out. Doesn't do any good, obviously, but I know you do it anyway. Yeah, this is going to be cutting it close. That's okay. Looks like it's going to be by a fly's chin hair at this rate. I need two more stitches. Oh, you're being lazy? Well, that's good. Oh, Kristen's working on a diamond painting. Yeah. Those will be good wintertime projects, I, I think. Oh, can she get the last stitch? Can she do it? Oh my gosh. Let's see. I may have to re-thread the needle and see if we can get it done. Come on now. Cooperate with me. There we go. Wow. Man, you couldn't have cut that any closer. There we go. Hem stitch secured. So now I do my next two picks of this pattern. My basket weave. And now we are ready to change colors. I do a lot of color change in here. I do. Right, let's uh, let's tuck the tail in. Take that one out, and the next one I need is purple. I just dropped one on the floor. Heavens, to the feet. I have to go pick it up before the cat gets all the way and off with it. Give me a second. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to do this pattern here. And I don't know if I can get it closer. This camera is not the best at fo focusing. There you go. So that, that's a little pattern. And that one is 3421. And I probably, I probably put this in the wrong shed. So I'm going to take it out and fix it. But that will bother me. It should be on. And I'm going to start on this side. And tuck that tail. And a lot of tucking tail around here, I'll tell you. Okay. 
I go until I have a square. Hello, Carrie. How are you? Hello. Oh, is Sean here too? Hello, Sean. How are you feeling, my love? I do want them. And my lovely daughter-in-law, Carrie, is in the house. There we go. There's the little pattern. Um, Sean, go down to your local Lowe's or your local... Uh, uh, Home Depot and get the sample jars of paint and get the Floetrol. That's the best and the easiest. Okay, so. Three. Four. Four. Ratio, um, yes, I'm just going to say that. Uh, Carrie, Carrie does a lot of paint pouring also. Um, it should be like pancake batter. I mean, if you don't want the paint to move a lot, you can use less Floetrol. If you want it to move a lot, use more Floetrol. It depends on the effect that you're going for. I find that if I'm doing a swipe, I like it to be slightly thicker because I really don't want it running all off the canvas. So it, it depends. And another another instance where you might want to have um, a thicker paint as opposed to thinner, uh, you is for the log pour where you just keep pouring in a little spot on the canvas and then let it tree ring out. Um, so the layers usually stay pretty separate. I've not had a lot of mixing. Um, you can do a dirty cup or you can pour the, you know, the colors individually. All right, I'm just going to measure this just to see where we are. It is one and a half wide, and it is, I think I have another four rows to go before I'm at one and a half on the height. Alright, 
Let's measure that. Dirty like me, there you go. Yeah, the cells are formed by different oils that can be added. Yeah, I, I like to use um, I like to use the dimethicone, the coconut, uh, they call what they call it, coconut milk for hair. Works really, really well. And I'm at one and a half inches, so it is time to change color. Okay, and the last shed was a one. I'm just tucking my tail. There we go. Changing colors. So now we are doing what comes after the purple. Red. Now we are doing the red. Okay, let's go into the pink. Three. Tuck, oops. Tuck the tail. Come on, where is it? Are not worth swearing yet. And I dropped my measuring tube. I have to advance my work because I keep running out of room. Okay, let's advance this. My measuring tape. Oh. What I'll do is I'll actually tie it on here. There, I don't have to worry about it. And the cat can come over and play with it all he wants. Okay, picking up where I left off, three, all right, let's measure that. Dinner at your favorite diner, an old car show in the lot, and a band that was playing. Oh, that was fun! Hi, Shelly, how are you? That sounds like fun, Linda. So this is one inch wide, and I'm going to have to do, I think, one more repeat.
And when you see me out, well, you can't even you can't even really see them. Uh, let me let me finish this square, and I will fix the camera. I did not know that the camera was um, out of frame. I apologize. And now it's going to be too long. So I'm actually going to un unweave those. Unweave that and unweave that. No, that's cool. Okay. Right here. All right, let's measure. Yep, lots and lots of color. Hang on one second, and I'm going to fix the camera. I can actually do one more row. I don't like changing in the middle of a pattern, but we'll do it anyway, right? That should be one inch now. Yeah, huh? I think we should get away with one more room. All right, so let me fix the camera. There we go. Hopefully that is better. I don't know if I can do anything about the colors at this point. No, I don't think I can. Oh, that's a lot of fun, Linda. Linda even saw a friend from junior high. Uh, these are going to be made into your pot holders. Uh, this is this is the third one. So I am changing color again. We're going for yellow, and that's only going to be for a little bit, and then we go to orange, then back to yellow then to green, and then blue, and then back to pink, and we are done. I have to, I have to tuck my tail here. Okay. And I'm going to start the pattern over again. Because I'm at a color change, so the change should be all noticeable. How do I recognize someone for high school? I have no idea how she did that. Oh, that sounds like fun. Sandra has been surfing Pinterest to get ideas on what to do for Halloween birdhouses. I, um, I'm, I'm not a fan of Pinterest. Uh, it's filled with nothing but clickbait and uh, ads. And some of the ads have recently become very inappropriate. You know, I'm searching for weaving patterns and I'm getting, you know, sex ads. Well, Sean, you just get, got out of the hospital. You should you should definitely take a nap if you want to, that's for sure. You uh, you need the rest. Pancreatitis is nothing to shake a stick at, that's for sure. And what you see me doing, we can't really see, but I, I'm a little fussy on one side more than the other. And that is because I have to wrap um, my edge thread so it gets caught, so I don't have any juicy, juicy stuff happening. Uh-oh, Linda Post 
in her latest creation to the flock. Hold on one minute here and let's see. Oh, let me fix that. Let me fix that. Because I think that's an inch. Anyway, all right, let me roll over here. And I'll have to move a screen on my computer screen here so I can get to uh, where to go. Here it is. Okay. Okay, um, let's take a look here. These are Sandra's little birdhouses. They are adorable. Oh, I love them. I think they came out so cool. She did she did a theme of three little pigs. So there's a wood house, a straw house, and a brick house. Those are so stinking cute. Okay. That takes care of that. Now, where is Linda? I'm looking for you, Linda. Where are you? Did you post it? I'm not seeing it, Linda. Let me hit refresh again. I love stopping and showing off people's stuff. No, I don't see it, Linda. You sure you posted it? Sean doesn't see it either. Okay, you, you'll check it out. We'll come back to it later. We'll come back to it in a little bit. All right, so that there yellow looks like it's big enough. It might be, it might be. Yeah, yeah it's a little bit too long, but that's, uh, no, I'll take it out. I'll take it out. I'll, I'll be good. We'll get it back down to an even height. It is centimeters isn't helping me either. I'm sitting here. It is three three links. So let's see here. One, two, yeah, three eighths. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm cutting off the yellow. Cutting off the yellow and replacing it with orange. And I believe that will be yes. Okay, now we're starting with orange. It's a little bit finicky when you're changing all these colors all the time. But I think it's worth it. The colors are just so pretty. Okay. 
Okay. So, and we will, I don't know as to whether or not it really matters if I start a fresh pattern again. I don't think you'll really notice it with the color changes. I don't think so. Let's go with it. Okay, let's go check. Let me, let me do this. This one here, and we'll go check and see Linda's latest creation. Oh my God, is she talented? Let me tell you, people. Let me tell you. There it is. So this is Linda's latest creation. Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God, look at that. Can you can you all see that? Hang on. Can you all see the duck or do I need to? Yeah, you, uh, he's not. Uno momento, por favor. Let's. There, did that. That raised it. There you go. I accidentally unplugged things. Hopefully everything's okay now. Okay. Okay, you can see the picture. So here we go. There is her little duck. I think that's absolutely stunning. I love that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Linda, you are sick and twisted, and I love you. Oh, that is epic. Oh, my. You are a scream. I love these. These are amazing. Oh, I love those. Those are so dang cool. Oh, my God. Can you see this? I hope you can see. Yes, you can see it. My goodness gracious. They are epic, Linda. Get yourself a website and start selling these things. For heaven's sakes. Hang on. There we go. Let's see. Got to fix the camera. One moment, please. Let's see if I hit the button. Let's see. It went off. Let's get it back on. There we go. Hang on. Aren't those cool? Yeah, I, I would love one of those little robots too. I think they are just epic. So Linda, sa save two of those robots. One for me, one for Carrie. I don't, I don't know if we have operators anymore. I'm not sure. I used to be a switchboard operator. All right, let's see if this is going to work. Um, all right, this is not going to work for me. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. 
I am going to stop the stream real quick and I'm going to start it again. So ha hang tight, please. Don't leave. I'll be back in two shakes of a, a lamb's tail. Come on, really? There we go. Okay, I should be back. I seriously doubt you're going to have them all there, Linda. Uh, am I back? Do you hear me? I had I had a tab close on me. So I can't. I am not seeing my YouTube tab. Nanny more. So bear with me for a second. I have no idea if I am streaming or not. Hang on. And of course they put me in the beta, which doesn't work. There we go. Let's go back to the live stream. Are we there? It says I'm live. No, it says I'm offline. There I am. I'm live. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you hear all of that good stuff? I am back. So, Linda, those things are absolutely amazing, and I, don't, I seriously don't think you're going to come home with anything. So, just you just dialed zero and got nothing? Well, I guess they don't have them anymore. I love all of those, but definitely put aside... Oh, good night, Sean. Feel better. Um, de definitely put aside a robot for me and for Carrie. You can send me. You can send me a bill. Uh, what am I doing here? Three, four, two, one. So let's do this. Yep. Three. Four, two, one. And they got hung up on each other. Now I'm twirling, yeah. I'm a trying. It's a little slow because I got to keep catching one salvage thread. But if I don't have to, if I don't have to keep changing yarn or grabbing a salvage thread, this goes very, very quickly. It really does.
see how close we are. I'm twirling Linda, refresh. I got at least another repeat to go. He's fine. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, here comes Mr. Yellow again. Top tail. Catch salvage, march onward. Yep, we're back. I choose my ads? No, I do not. Um, I don't have any control over that. Did you see something inappropriate? If you did, please let me know. The ad you watched before was about a Scottish plaid. Isn't that funny? Oh my God, that is so funny. Well, now I did put I did put uh, tart tartan and. Um, plaid in my description and in my um, you can put up to three keywords uh, in your description that will show up above your video um, in the display screen or below your video I should say um, on the YouTube screen so um, that might be where it came from isn't that cool that's an ad I wouldn't mind seeing all right so we have three eights there and we have, oh, a single line too much. A single line too much. I'll take it out. I'll take it out. There we go. Now peace and order has been restored to the world. And it was an ad to buy all this Scottish plant, Scottish plants. So isn't that funny? That's an ad I would actually even consider clicking on. Although I cheat, just to show my distaste for ads, what I do, and I do this on Instagram also, um, if I see um, something on Instagram that, that interests me, rather than click on the Instagram picture, I will just go to their website on my computer and... Uh, you know, like I said, I cheat. Um, so I'll, I'll go to the... Because usually, like when they say big sale or Instagram sale, it's the same price. You go to their website without clicking on the ad, it's the same price. 
Okay, so now we're on to green. I have Adblock software, so I don't, and I also have YouTube Premium, so I don't see ads. And because of my ad blocker, I don't see them on Facebook. But, um, yeah, I don't. They play the ads too loud. And you really don't have control over what you're seeing. And a lot of it is inappropriate. Um, well, if you have YouTube Premium... I will get a cup. I will get a little piece of that. It's like, it's like, um, oh. But you basically, I, I'm paying so I don't see ads. But I will still get my ad revenue. But, um, I, in fact, I didn't even know it was possible to skip ads on YouTube because I never see them. So I have a ways to go for that. Um, I don't I don't know. Like I said, I didn't know that you could skip it. Um I didn't know that, that was an option. But like I said, I don't have a TV I have I have a television, but I don't watch uh, broadcast TV. I have to have to move this up. Um, so yeah, I don't like I said, I don't see ads. But I know that folks that have premium I'll still get ad money. You watch, you watch a scrap guy, and he said if we skip, he gets no money. I was not aware of that. I could do probably almost another repeat. Almost. Let's see. Let's see. There I do two more rows. Nope, I'm there. Okay. So see, this works up quickly. Now I'm on to the blue. And after the blue, I uh, do the pink and I'm done. Do the hem stitch and this one's in the books. Okay. Now I'm doing a deep dark blue here. Okay, I, I stopped playing a lot of my uh, the games that I like on my phone um, because of the ads. You know, charge me 99 cents for your game, and I will happily pay you. 
But if you want $10, then you're still going to make me pay out the nose to play your game. Uh, I'm not doing it. But if you have obnoxious ads that I can't control the volume, uh, I delete your program. I was playing a kid's game tonight. Oh, thanks, Linda. Yeah, mine are pretty scrungy looking also. Um, I was playing a kid's game this morning. Just some silly little game. And next thing I know, I'm getting hit with boobs in my face. Not naked ones. It was like some sex game for kids to play. Really? With all these hot babes in it and boobs everywhere. It was disgusting. There's, there's no reason for that. Especially in a game the kids are going to be playing. in a weavers group and um, she texted me about saying uh, that she's also a member of Jane Stafford's Weavers Guild and she's learned so much of it. We ended up talking until like 3 o'clock in the morning. It was so great. She lives in southern Colorado on the front range and uh, she's got two Clydesdale horses and a whole bunch of guardian dogs and goats, and she's as hooked on weaving as I am. Uh, she just got her her uh, table loom today, and uh, she's all excited, got it all set up. So, you only, I don't play Facebook games. Again, you know, they're, they're obnoxious. So you can see this doesn't really take a, an awful lot of time. I actually think that might be, that might be, that could be. Or is it this one? You play bingo and Yahtzee? I like Yahtzee. That is one, two, three, four, five, eight. That is not five, eight. Okay. And I have to. Squares go diagonally this way, so that is not big enough yet. It's called Royal Dice on Facebook. Oh, that sounds cool. Maybe I'll look into that. I do, and I like, you know, word chunks and Scrabble and those types of games. And Uno. Checking your height. You are now one and five eighths. I one and five eighths. So baby, that is done. That is. I just have to put. Put the pink on. I'll have 
have to do the hem stitch. Tuck that tail. Okay. Now we're doing one and three, one and three. Yeah. Let's do about yay so I don't run out this time. Uh, where's my needle? No. Who's talking? Oh, um, that's my police scanner in the background there. Sorry about that. It's in the other room. Okay, so now we're doing the hem stitch again. And let's see, I have to do this backwards. Um, am I always, I am always snug it up. What's coming in nice and clearly on the scan is North Carolina State Troopers. They um, transmit out of Newton, North Carolina, but they have a tower on top of Phoenix Mountain, the mountain that I live on. So you can hear them loud and clear. There was a lot of stolen vehicles today. There were stolen vehicles from Wilkes. Coming up here to Ash, there was a stolen vehicle from Watauga County coming up here in Ash. And then there was a stolen vehicle from the local Walmart. So people are hot for cars now, I guess. Oh, that's funny. That's funny, Linda. Linda was listening to her neighbors have a fight today. Um, I used to have neighbors like that in New York. She was a drunk. He was a useless dirtbag lawyer. And her kids were both drug addicts. So I used to find booze bottles and hypodermic needles and all sorts of garbage tossed over their fence into my yard. So, yeah, that was fun. And they, the cops were there at least twice a week. The ambulance was there at least once a week. We were so glad to see them go. Come on, you cannot see. Go. The most excitement I had today was the, the helicopter. Couldn't figure out what was going on. I mean, who came up with that stupid idea? I'm sorry. Let's strap a dozen whirling blades onto a pole and dangle it from a helicopter and go cut tree branches next to power lines. I mean, really? Helicopters are very susceptible to winds. Wouldn't take much of a breeze to come by and 
Right into the lines. There you go. You're cooked. And not only that, you're going to crash and you're going to die. And most probably destroy all the power grid. It's fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know how anybody can think that's a smart thing to do. So we'll pick another pattern. And uh, do another one. They work up quickly, as, as you can see. This is number three, and I'm hoping to get about ten on here. I think we warped it so I'd get about ten. Yeah, they're they're so they're so greedy. They have to have the money, so they're, they're willing to do it. Right? Okay. Okay. One question answered. Oh, okay, question answered. Yeah. <laughs> I texted my, my neighbor and asked her, I said, are you up here from Florida? She said, no. I said, there's a helicopter flying over your house. And then I posted that we have a local group, and they're very, very knowledgeable. If you want to know what's going on, just go to Ash, Ash in the Know. And uh, I posted there, and like 30 seconds after I posted, oh, yeah, that's the energy company. I got lots of info on the people, though. Sanjay has this little tiny Raspberry Pi computer here. And it has uh, a program on it called Flight Blair. The whole computer is two inches long by half an inch thick. And it has this little bit of software on it called Flight Aware. And I didn't know how to get to it. Sanjay reminded me how to go about looking at it. And I got all the data on the, on the helicopter. I have its whole history. Basically, it uh, aircraft have to transmit their location. Um, in order to, you know, keep everybody safe. So uh, that information is constantly being sent out on a transponder. So if you have software to pick up that info, you can get all sorts of information. Kind of feel stalkerish. 
you can see uh, the history of the aircraft, like uh, it, the, the helicopter that they were using today is from 1977, and it came from California. And the people are based in Abington, Virginia. I have their phone number. <laughs> Oh, cool, Linda. Share your page in the flock. And don't forget, send me that invoice for the two robots. I like the little the little decorative edge that this gives it. And I'm just gonna I'm just going to uh, put the insulation fabric down and fold in um, the edge. And I'm going to just top stitch this down on top of the insulation. I'm not, I don't want to have a seam allowance on this because uh, it'll be too bulky. So I'm just going to lay this on top of the insulation and so it top stitches down. I got my, uh, my featherweight all set up on a little table here. And I got to do my blank, my towels from the the crackle twill pattern towels. I have to do those, get those hemmed up, and then get them washed. And I'm gonna start. I have to make some more scarves, and I was thinking of grays and tans and blacks because I have to make some scarves for men folk. I'm going to find me some manly colors. Everybody's getting scarred this year. We are just about done. One more stitch to go here. And then we can start the next one. Okay. There we go. And I'm just going to do this in the way. Another loop because I just want to make sure it's tight. There we go. And now I just leave that about yay long. Not that you can see because it, it 
it gets blended into the fringe. Okay, so there's that one. I'm going to have to crank it out of the way. start with pink and then we'll figure out our pattern. There we go. My shirt matches. <laughs> does it? Yeah, it does kind of a little bit. It's got bright colors in it. Okay. So once again, we are doing the hem stitch. Hey Mark, how you do how you doing? You get your teeth fixed yet? Okay. That wasn't supposed to happen. Slide it back where it belongs. You're not feeling good? I'm sorry to hear that. You have to go in for a mock-up fitting, and then two more weeks. Okay. I'm going to get something done with my teeth. They've shifted since I've been down here. 
and I keep biting my cheek on both sides to the point where they're bleeding. And I've also started biting my tongue. So the teeth have changed, have shifted. I've always ended up biting my cheek, uh, but now it's worse. Now I'm biting both sides, and I have big, like scar tissue on this side of my cheeks now. So I'll need to get that fixed. I don't know how I'm going to get that fixed. Or I don't know what they can do. Our New York dentist gave Sanjay uh, Invisalign braces because he was, um, his teeth shifted and he was, um, his bite was wearing his teeth and it was going to end up, I don't know what he said, breaking his teeth or something. But um, I mean, Sanjay had beautiful teeth before. But he's been wearing the Invisalign and it's working, so. I don't, my mouth is way beyond Invisalign, I imagine. Unless they've done lots of improvements in the product. When it first came out, I asked my dentist about it. And uh, he giggled. He said, no, I'm sorry. It's only for mild correction. And he said, I, I, had, I had a quote done at one point, and it would have required about $50,000, and I'd have to go into the hospital and have my jaw broken, and have bone removed, and have teeth removed, and then wear braces for like five years, and then have to wear a ret retainer for the rest of my life. So... I, I've never had, didn't have, didn't have uh, braces as a kid. We couldn't afford such nonsense. Back then, nobody did it. You know, it's like, that's your teeth. Live with it. twist out of this yarn. Don't twist around yourself. Untwist. Oh, now I dropped it. Hang on. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Little bugger. Gotta move the, gotta move the balloon. There we go. Sorry, I know the camera moved. Let's see. I know it moved. I'm sorry. That actually might not be such a bad angle. Come on now. Fudge. There. All right, there we go. Let's try that. <laughs> it's getting worse. Heavens. Oh. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not a cameraman. I go up. Up a little more. There we go. That should that should work for now anyway. That should work for now. Yeah, the camera is showing these colors. This is red and it's not. It's bright neon pink. 
Okay, let's try not dropping the needle again. I never knew you could do a hem stitch like this with only two picks of weft in here. I had no idea. That James Stafford is amazing. At the halfway point, this works up relatively quickly. When I don't drop the needle or smack the camera. So has fall reached any of you guys yet? Because man, it hasn't here. It is so dry. We've not had a drop of rain in probably four weeks, five weeks. Oh, it's hard to see. The cat slept on the sofa yesterday and he only does that in winter. And it's in the mid 80s and humid in, in Minnesota. Hello there, Janice. How are you? How's your, was it your sister? Your sister-in-law? I'm 
surgery, how is she? Everything come out okay? There, now you change colors. He spent all summer in the bedroom, away from the AC. She's home, that's wonderful. I'm so glad to hear that. I am so happy to hear that. Um, okay, I don't know how that works, so we're not going there. I'd like a small pattern, and I'd like to try and stick with four. We could try this one, that goes one, two, three, four. Let's try that one. Or here, no, I like this one down here. This is kind of like a basket weave. We'll try that. That is three, four, one, two. Isn't that what I was just doing? Three, oh, no, three, four, two, one. Three, four, two. Yeah, that's what I was just doing. So why does it look different? <coughs> I don't know. We'll just try one, two, three, four, and see how that goes. Okay, let's cut you in. You are one, three, one, two. Oh, you were cool. to the flock her very first journal so let me and I don't want to disconnect anything again so let's see let's see how I can do this let's see if this will cooperate for me Oh my. Oh, Carrie. Let's check this out, people. Oh, Carrie, that's stunning. Oh man, that's pretty. Wow, wow, wow. That is gorgeous. 
Very, very pretty, Carrie. Very pretty. Look at that. I didn't disconnect the camera. Oh, you'll have to take pictures of uh, the inside, too. You know, of the pages and the pockets and the tuck spots and the belly bands and all those things. All righty. So we're just doing a one, two, three, four here. Very well then. Well, one, two, three, four it is. Let's tuck in your tail with the mouse. Did I do it wrong? No, that's purple. For a second there, I thought I saw some blue there. Oh, that's fantastic, Harry. I'm so looking forward to that. Hello, Carlana. How are you? That's really awesome. And you know what you could do? You could, um, or PJ could, strip out just your portions of the flip through, through uh, on Cranky Crafters. And, and just, you know, it doesn't have to have verbiage. You can strip out the audio. But then he can play some, you know, nice, soothing music in the background. And um, uh, what do you call it? And put it up as a production video. You're doing good, Carlana. Yeah, I need I needed that week off. That was good. Went to church every night. Very, very nice. It was revival week. We got uh and this, some very special visiting creatures came in, and boy, what powerful messages they were. I actually ordered a copy of all of the, all of the sermons. There we go. That was one and a half. Yes. No, no, no. One more. Let's do one more. Uh, 
it now. Well, this journal was basically just training because there is there is one I've had on my mind for a while. And we'll be doing production videos for that one. Oh, cool. Well, you know, if they're, if they're really, you know, don't worry about the length of your videos. You can always break them up. And that keeps people coming back. I know I should talk. I haven't put out more production videos. I got bit by this here weaving bug, and I just have had no desire to go over to the studio. It's so it was so bloody hot, and I just I have to go where my heart tells me to go, and. Paper crafts and painting are just not doing it for me. Uh, what color do I want now? Red. So, I do my weaving. There we go. Let's tuck your tail. I know of a starving artist in Maryland who can use all your paper, paper, and painting supplies. I'm not sure if I'm going to ever go back to it or not. I do like painting. Um, I enjoy it. But you know, I was I was starting to do a series that I was going to put out production videos every day in the month of August. And I tried really hard. And it just came, became so monotonous. I felt like I had to do it, I had to do it, I had to do it. And it was stressful and I wasn't having fun. So I said, no, that's not the way to do it. So, and I, then the final straw was, uh, I was over there painting, and Sanjay kept interrupting me with video calls, and I went back to start the, the recording again, and um, realized that I had not recorded anything. So... And then I had to do the painting over again. And I just said, this is not, this is not fun. And if it's not fun, I'm not doing it. I don't think that reads a square. I think I'm going to. See, now that does not look square. But that's what we're going with. So I I may um, my heart my heart and soul has always been 
with fiber. Um, I've always loved it. Fiber, material, yarn. I've always loved it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to return to the other crafts or not. And if I decide not to, of course, Carrie gets first pick. And maybe that way then I can organize my studio and move my looms over there. Okay. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Yep, that's square. Don't go away. I'll need you again in a few minutes. What happens here? Catch you.
let's just get a quick measurement. I don't think it's square, but you don't know. Let's see. Just about. I think one more repeat will do it. Now we're doing green.
let's check that out. It goes fast when you're when you don't have to keep stopping to change colors. That's done. That is done. Now I got to do the blue and the pink and we're done. My blue's almost out. I have to wind another bar. Let's see, that's almost four. Let's tuck your tail. One piece of paper. Hello, little C. How are you, my love? I hope you are doing well. I got a little bit. Hopefully, I'll have enough ones. You doing okay? You get an appointment to see your oncologist tomorrow. And then the last chemo on Thursday, 
Hallelujah. Oh, that's so fantastic. Oh, I'm so glad that this is over for you. Oh, I really do. And I'm just so, so pleased that you got through it. I will say a big thank you to the Lord, and I will keep you in my prayers tomorrow night at church for Thursday. I'm so, so delighted that you're, you're getting your last chemo. Don't forget to ring that bell. Right now, it is one and three quarters. Just the one and three. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Okay. Does your hospital have a bell? A lot of a lot of cancer wards have bells, and when you finish your last treatment, um, you ring the bell when you're leaving. There we go. And I had that much yarn left on my bottom. Okay, pink and then hemp stitch, and then I think I'm gonna fall in the night. Is how many of these can you watch me make? I don't have I don't have it set up so you can watch me cut and sew them. That I have to be done over at the studio now, so no, I don't have the space right now. So maybe, who knows, maybe I will offload all my paper goods. I'll keep my canvases and my paint. And, um, my, you know, my paints. So I can get, carry all my acrylic core paint and scrapbooks and stuff like that. You'll have to plan a trip down here, Carrie. Oh, you won't, but in two weeks you start, oh, 33 radiations? Three radiations or 33 radiations? Thirty-three seems excessive. Okay, Gary. Just waiting to see what little C says about the thirty-three radiation treatments, because that seems a little thirty-three. Oh my God, isn't that a lot? You're going to be glowing in the dark. One. So there is our last one. Let's see if I can't see where I started it here. And it goes up to here. And I can give you a zoom in. There you go.
And then you can watch, watch the, the hem stitch. Oh, uh, it was stage two breast cancer, so they really have to zap you that much? Wow. That just seems kind of like a lot. I think um, Kiki only had four, four treatments, four radiation treatments, I think. I never heard of anybody getting 33 of them. Small tumor on the breast and one under your arm and your lymph node. Okay. Hello, Mr. Dinky Doo. How are you? I guess it was on the lymph node, yeah. Because that's where it kicks off and spreads, isn't it? And it gets into your lymph nodes. Yes, Mr. Dinky. What are you doing? camera a wee bit. That's the wrong way, dum-dum. Oh, heavens, this camera's been good at the me. Tripods.
That's the wrong way, dummy. Zoom out, I'm too close. Is that better? <laughs> yeah, Dinky was a, here, but he didn't, I uh, zoomed in too close so you didn't see him. Now he's back in the dining room getting himself um, something to eat. And <laughs> what he does, and I've had to take a bungee cord and bungee cord down his feeding dish because he will... He will um, sit there and take kibble out a paw at a time. And then he usually starts getting a little bit more aggressive. And then the ball ends up upside down on the floor. And there's hundreds of kibbles all over my floor. So I had to bungee it down. But he, he still takes out a paw full of kibble at a time knocks it on the floor, chases it, eats it, and repeats. And his other trick, which better stop soon, is shoveling out of his litter box. He gets in this shoveling frenzy and thinks that it's a good idea to just shovel all the kitty litter out of the floor. So, yeah, mommy's not pleased with that. Yeah, he is a goose.
So I asked people earlier if they knew the difference between a plaid and a tartan, because there is a difference. And just so you know, this is called the dinky tartan. A tartan is a twill plaid, but it is registered to a family. There's actually a, a registry board to record your tartan. I did not register the dinky tartan, but so what? And there you have it. There is pot holder numero dos. So there you go. So at this point, I think I'm going to end the stream because how many pot holders can you watch me make? And I'm just going to sit here and uh, try and maybe get through a bunch of these. And let's see, I can unwind it again and show you all of them. Hang on a moment. There we go. There is the first one. Um, here is the second one. I think this one's my favorite, but I made it. It's too long. It's probably an inch longer than the other one was. And here's the third one. And there's the last one. So there you have it. And on that note, I'm going to end this show. If you are new to my channel, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please ring the bell so you get notified when I post a new video. And please give the video a thumbs up before you leave. And uh, consider coming over and joining us over on The Flock on Facebook. We have a great time. So I want to thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. I love you all very, very much. I thank you, thank God for you every single day um, for bringing you into my life. And uh, I love you all very much. And I say prayers for you every day. And um, I love you all. So I will see you again on Thursday night at 7 o'clock. And then on Friday night we will have Cranky Crafters. And we'll get to see Carrie's journal flip through. So I will talk to you all very soon. I love you all. Good night, flockers.